Who base camp under siege? As you return to base, the sound of gunfire and explosions reaches your ears. You look at your teammates questioningly before picking up the pace. There's definitely something wrong. It looks like the crowd has found the base and is attacking it from multiple directions. As warriors for centuries have done, you rush towards the sound of the guns. Other teams are descending on the base as well, as fast as they can, as the call for help begins to go out. You are the closest and you can vector in new runners to join you as you reach the supposedly hidden encampment. Okay. Please we get to to some other team. Not sure why I would want to. Farsha Brian. Maybe a Rigger. No, Rigger sort of easily falls behind. We'll keep the same team. Seems reasonable. Where did we suddenly turn into a new team? Friendlies remaining. Well. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. Hmm. Else has to do the scouting. And the base camp. You hear screams and the sudden burst of gunfire. Yep. Yep. I don't want to haste anyone at the moment. Let's get the team inside. All these enemies. Yeah. That could be a problem. Yeah, very familiar looking attack groups. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Shamans and mages. Okay, these are our component guys here. If we can break the enemy attack, it'll be fine. Mage. 38 points of damage. Holy shit. 38 points of damage. Well, I die. Slow-mo, how I hate you. I truly despise you. I not even use most of our abilities anymore. <sighs> well, we do have annoying abilities of our own. The slow mo also went away. To get rid of the mage, it's doing massive amount of damage. Cascade mage. Get the loot. Jazz.
Whenever I want to use a shotgun, I shoot the guy who's in cover and furthest away. Hmm. Okay, what exact else am I supposed to do here? Kuldrak. As the last of the crow dies, your communist rings. Kuldrak's ugly muck greets you. We're getting an alert from the base camp. What the frag is going on there? The base is under attack from the crow. Well, that's pretty obvious, ain't it? Protect the base, especially the command center, if you can. Keep as many of our boys and girls alive as possible. I'm counting on you to keep us in this. The unit flickers out. Well, shit. Massive explosions rock the perimeter wall, busting holes in the wall. I'd like to see where they are coming in. I'm assuming the situation here is settled. Uh, having everyone go in that same pace didn't work too well. So I'm trying to make sure at least one of us gets to the action. Are these friendlies or hostiles? I'm assuming hostiles, but... How would you know? Okay, they appear friendly. At least I can target them. So, it seems from their positioning that the enemy will be coming on this side. Let's see. Can we detect anyone? Not really, no. They're neutral. Let me start coming there. Okay. So I basically ran away from where the enemies are coming from. Right. No, they're coming from all over the place. Okay, it's not a waste of time. We just need to split the groups up. Water! Water should be here, in a good position overall. What else can you do, Water? Probably... do some basic cover first. Yeah, it looks like I have company here. Hmm. Amenable then maybe Yes. That is good. That's massive amount of damage to them. Now 
risking going running going running through the fire is not a minor problem for them. At the same time. <laughs> but there's a there's a cascade at the end. Start shooting. We'll be defending this, except I can't even see anyone. Pistol talk, shotgun talk. Yeah, this isn't gonna be fun, but we have allies, so maybe that will even things up. And it's much more sensible to lose allies than risk losing any of the core team. Easily a dozen enemies coming our way at the moment. Now more. So what can we do? That guy's dead. much we can do oh. we played their mage out of the fight now We really could use some additional firepower. Here, on the other hand, we don't. Not really.
Okay, on the western side things seem to be under control. Eastern side is sort of collapsing. With the one guy and uh, the big team. Yeah, no one can do anything there. Probably not for uh, the next turn either. Next turn either. So yeah, that guy's dead, but a single guy against so many enemies can't be held really. We can lose maybe about half a dozen allies, maybe even a bit more. Probably should pull back. If we don't, we won't be able to soon. Is that some kind of boss? Shannon Thug. Well, yes, this is. They're more trouble than anything else. Coming down. Another explosion. It's another explosion from the south. Please, thanks for giving me the direction this time. Um, I do need to weaken these little bits. Be heading south very soon. Much we can do. Try to kill something and run. Ah, <sighs> can we do a mana ball? No, we can't do anything really. Okay, uh, I need to. Maybe I don't. So I'm thinking of that I need to get rid of the shaman. However, we know what happens when you try to keep your elemental out constantly. It's going to run away from you sooner or later. That doesn't mean it's good for us, but it certainly means they can't effectively attack with it. The enemies are closer, the elementals, it might be good for us. Yes. Back in their own. Uh, we need to move out of here quickly. Enemies coming from the south. So yeah, to protect that. You. get rid of the Cascade Shaman. Just because uh, he lost control of that does not mean he's not a problem. And very likely can produce more of those. Not mean to leave cover for that. There's no way we can get rid of him. On the next turn, maybe we get access to our recharge or a cooldown spell. It just caused, yeah, 
it's 28 points hit points loss if we want to skip the cooldown for even a turn. With this one, 44. It's it just costs so much that even though you, you never really miss it, the situation has to be absolutely catastrophic for you to think about using it. Certain abilities might be exceptions. Still, I'm helping these guys a little bit before moving on. I can push things up here. I need to go south. One down. Two down. Excellent. We should be able to take the Shaman out now. There's still four guys here though, so we can't exactly leave with everyone. Yeah, at the same time, we need to run. Can't lose the Doctor. Where are you loading game? Um, this is a massive side, size fight though, so... Weaken it enough that we can take him out. A little bit of mana ball in there, and that should do it. And you miss, for fuck's sake. Ah, of course, you miss. You always miss, don't you? Please kill him. Ah. That should ease things a little bit, but not by much. You. Escape Mage. Yeah, the doctor is boned. There's no getting around that. Holy hell, is he in trouble? There's like a dozen guys next to it. And more comes come guys coming from north. Mage, no, normal attacks. 
Let's see if we can clean this side a little bit before the reinforcements get here. I'm not exactly having great luck with hitting though. I'm not sure I should stay here. Uh, down here we're in real trouble. Quickness plus two, action point plus one. Let's see what we can do with that. Mage. We can give two extra action points for our pistol guy, I think we'll be able to just use him to do whatever we need to do down here. Guy, his guys here might not be able to take on everything that comes up north, but they'll be able to at least hold them for a while. And more elementals. I hate the fact that our own guys just blatantly run run there in the open again. It's not like keeping these guys alive isn't hard enough. I'm close enough. I'm gonna need another turn away. Might be close enough. But how much life do I have? 37. Why? Well, yeah, I can't do it. I, I'm dead. Literally, I am dead if I try to cast it any faster than all I'm already doing things. So, let's not go there. Okay. The situation here is a bit better than I thought. Thug, thug, and Please hit. Thank you. Mm. Anything damage related? No. Might be able to. But no. Let's try to survive.
You're trying a mage and you try to punch enemies. We're probably going to lose about 50% of the group. We're not doing nearly that badly now, but we have a lot of people to go kill through, and we have everything's yeah. The elementals. Well, if the elementals. Oh shit, 32 points of damage. The elementals escape from their control, that might change things, but they need to escape very soon. Yep. A lie died. Two hits. Two goddamn hits. And the guy can get four. It did about. It did more than 80 points of damage. Uh, yeah. Spirits. They're funny, aren't they? with you Can you cast this I'd really like to cast a haste on our pistol guy really 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 would There's a good chance that the fights we're having now aren't going to be the only fights, so... If there's any further breaches, things like that, we are going to have huge trouble trying to get to the correct place. So I'm hoping that the Shaman might lose control. It's pretty much the best that I can hope. I don't think this is the Shaman who's in control though. And hitting nothing didn't exactly help. Yeah. Tire turn wasted. Kill the samurai. Miss, miss, miss. It's only four misses. Okay, the southern side is under control again. Fifty percent dead. Uh, we're gonna lose more. We just have no control of the north, and these idiots just keep rushing them like crazy. At least they lost control of the element of So. Catastrophe for them. They have their four action points after all, so ah, sometimes that's so funny. That's six action points. Yeah. And maneuverability is absolutely massive, so we'll spend four to get to the northern side. But then what? Who wants to die first? That's hostile.
It's gonna miss, but I don't care. Yeah, still hit all the right people. Need to get the northern side under control before our allies come and get themselves killed there. Uh, what meaning we need to get rid of the shamans at least. Yep. It's like they're rushing into the open. That guy went well. I think it's a physical attack. But yeah, went right next to a hostile physical attack in the open with no cover. So. There's only one end result to that. But I need that shaman to die. That's... that has to happen. Shouldn't be too tough. Not with six action points. You need to die. Seriously, you need to die. Okay, it looks like two enemies left. Uh, but we haven't seen any kind of boss yet, so I'm a bit skeptical about that. Usually there's some kind of a good boss. At the same time, I could have killed him and not pay attention. Won't be the first time. Yep. Your calm unit bosses, it's Guldrak calling back. Alright, Jummer, I heard what happened. Whatever. Racking wreck storm. They found us out somehow. I'm making my way back there as fast as I can. Man, am I glad you got get there in time to help. Me and my boys will take care of cleanup and setting up a watch. Go into the warehouse and catch a few hours rest. I think we'll need to push up the attack plan sooner than we wanted, but it ain't like we got much choice. How did they find us? No idea, Chummer. No fragging idea. Be sure I'll try to find out, but we got other priorities right now. Rest up, I'll be in touch. The call ends. Um. Can't do anything. I can't move the screen, I can zoom back and forth. It sort of seems like the turn-based mode is still on. Everyone's sort of running into their places. Now let's wait it out. Not save during NPC turn. Yeah. This isn't a fucking turn based shit anymore, but apparently it is. I 
can't do anything. Rest, 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 rest. Taking its time. I think I'll have to exit. Game might have some some issue. You never know these things. Am I fully healed? No, but don't really matter. Ah, that was a long one. I guess we will be moving on to whatever awaits us next immediately. <laughs> <laughs> 